Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. You can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to share them. Um, you should like, comment, and subscribe to all my stuff because um, I like it when people do that. Uh, and you should probably do that. Uh, the beer I've got for you today is Pumpkin Crusher. Crusher. It ends with an A. It's a seasonal ale brewed with real pumpkin and spices from Shorts Brewing Company up there in Bel Air. Um, they usually make some really good stuff. Some really interesting stuff. Generally, trying to see if it's got a ABV on the can here, and it does not seem to. Um, generally, these are a little bit heavier, just because they're, they are, um, usually not above a 7. Um, usually, pumpkin beers are dark. So I'm kind of expecting that. Usually they're super malty and not very bitter, which I'm fine with. It says it's brewed with pumpkin and spices. So I'm assuming pumpkin spices because, I mean, it's a pumpkin beer. Darker. This is probably one of my favorite kinds of beers. Um, my favorite beers are ones that are usually dark, light, a little bit fruity. I like those. I mean, kind of dark. It's nice. Um, doesn't taste hot, so probably a little bit light. Less than seven would be my guess. Malty. Very malty. Very spicy. Not like hot, but spicy. Um, there's a little bit of a melon taste to this. Usually when you've got the darker beers, it's more of a, uh, more of, uh, like Marsons have the, um, the cracker taste to them or like a digestive biscuit, if you will, shortbread cookie maybe. Um, but this one, this one tastes melony. Um, you know, like pumpkin would be my guess is why this tastes like this. And spices. You got all the all the normal ones, cinnamon and clove and and nutmeg. This one's leaning a little bit actually there I think there's some ginger in that too. Kinda tastes like that also. Um it's good. I like it. I'd drink another one of these, maybe two. I'm not sure how much more there I've I've got five more of these. I'm not sure how many more because I I'm not done with this one yet, but that's pretty good. There are other beers that this reminds me of. Um, Fireside Chat. Uh, it's a right brain one. Um, very spicy, kind of darker, um, but it's like a Christmas beer. A little bit smoky, actually, on that one. Not like a lot smoky, but like somebody tossed in a, a lump of... Um, Natural charcoal, kind of like that. Fireside chat. It's it's different. I like it, but I don't have many beers that I don't like. Does this remind me of a story? Okay, so Pumpkin Crusher. When I was eight probably. There were some youths, I would imagine, because why would anybody else do this going around and smashing pumpkins like in the road? So they'd come up to a place where people had their pumpkins sitting out, like not jack-o'-lanterns yet. So you haven't gotten to carve your jack-o'-lantern yet for the, for the thing, but they'd come through, or they came through and they smashed all, I think there were five pumpkins that we had sitting out, four of us kids, and then um, and then another one for dad, probably. But they smashed all of them. They smashed all of them. I was not very happy about it. I had other friends that were not happy about when that happened to them, because it happened to them, too. Because apparently people are jerks. So, 
when we got older and people were like, hey, we should go and, uh, what did they, actually, that was really strange because it was one of my more African-American friends. I'm like, we should go out cooning. I'm like, wait, what? You know, Smashing Pumpkins. And both of us were like, yeah, no, let's not do that because it's not cool. Like, are they carved pumpkins? Like, are we doing them a favor by taking them away and, and smashing them? They're jack-o'-lanterns and it's after the 31st. I might consider doing that just because then the the adults there don't have to take care of their pumpkins. But before, no, no, no. It's not fun or funny. Although I have been told that if you drop a pumpkin out of a moving vehicle, it rolls a bunch and then just explodes. I've never seen that happen, but that's what I was told. Uh, children who aren't children. you we, we would have uh, displays out in front of our stores at work that would include pumpkins and other fall kinds of things. Get like They'd get um, corn stalks and hay bales and stuff like that, put those out and around. And it'd look nice, but also you could buy the pumpkins because we sell the pumpkins. But children who aren't children, large children, would come through and drop the pumpkins. We'd pick them up and drop them on the, on the sidewalk there, right next to the thing. Not cool. Little buttheads. It was kind of nice, though, speaking of children who aren't children, when they, uh, there was a, a we had a, a vendor come in to reinstall Wi-Fi, and they were using a scissor lift, and they got the scissor lift up, and they were doing their things, and they moved it around a little bit, which was fine, but then they just put it down without looking, and they smashed our, um, our display of, of Sharpie markers, which is too bad. Also, super useful, because we took all those Sharpie markers, because the display part still worked okay. It's just you couldn't leave it because it would fall off of the, the table that we had it on. So now there's just a table standing there, because they were supposed to buy, the uh, the vendor, their company was supposed to buy us a new one. And they won't, or haven't at the very least. So we're waiting on that, but in the meantime... Those children who aren't children aren't coming through and writing their Snapchat profile names, Instagram accounts, uh, dirty words on the white table with all of the Sharpie markers around it. Whoever decided that was a, was a good idea, it was not. I mean, they changed them to black ones. It just means that they're going to wreck the more expensive metallic markers because those look cool when you write on black with them. I mean, then you also don't have the black ones being worn down, I guess. Although we do have a big bunch of markers that aren't selling because they're not out and around for people to well, sell, sell. Usually steal. That's mostly what happens with those single markers. So we've got a bunch of them. A bunch of them went on clearance. I didn't buy any. Probably should have. Probably should have bought all of them because we need markers. And the people that, that are supposed to supply markers... It's really difficult to get markers. <sighs> that was really good. Kind of tastes like another one. We'll see. Maybe a little bit later. All right, I've got a quote for you. This one is from Jane Addams. She was a social worker and suffragist. She said, Civilization is a method of living. An attitude of equal respect for all men. I'm sure she meant all people, but... I mean, this was early days of the suffragist movement. But, yeah, being civilized, it's a thing that you've got to put your mind to. Respect other people and their, their stuff. Or, you know, whatever it is that they're going through. It's not all going to be the same as yours. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to me at tubajake underscore 69 at untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to share them. And I will share your stories. Uh, may sound like they're my stories, but I'll probably give you some credit in there too. I'm talking with a friend of mine the other day, that kind of thing. 
Anyway, I'll see you next time when you got time for a beer.